Good afternoon, everyone. I am Mayor Robinson, and I am calling this meeting to order. It is 545, and we are going to proceed with our public hearing on the City of Lake City budget. Public comment period. Comments are limited to two minutes per person, and no personal or verbal contact, uh, excuse me, verbal attacks will be entertained. The mayor and council is interested in hearing your concerns, but speakers should not expect mayor or council action or deliberation on subject matters brought up during the public comment period. Topics requiring further investigation will be referred to the city administration and may be scheduled for a future agenda. Please make sure to sign in and leave your name and address for the record with the city clerk to council. Go ahead, William. For permission, uh, tonight we would like to present for public hearing the proposed budget for the period July 1st, 2023 through June 30th, 2024. As shown on the screen, general fund, personnel, and uh, fringe benefits expenses is $7,062,000 for general fund. Operating expenses, $3,098,000. For total expenses in the general fund of $10,160,623. That's 62.39% of the total budget. The water fund, uh, with salary and fringe benefits and expenses of $569,217. Operating expenses, $1,665,783. For a total water budget of $2,235,000, that's 13.72% of the total budget. The sewer fund, salary and fringe benefits, $1,276,200. Operating expenses, $2,614,545. A total expenses of $3,890,745. That's 23.89% of the budget. Total budget for the city of Lake City for a year ending June 30, 2024, is $16,286,368. Questions? On the second slide, and it's small, but you have a copy in front of you. This shows the kid count by department uh, for a total of 118 full time employees and a full time mayor. And we have 119, 15 part time staff members. And there is a breakout by department. I'll give you a moment to review, and if there are any questions, I'll be more than happy to try and answer them. Is there any way that you can blow that up on the screen? Zoom in. Can you zoom zoom in? Um, yeah, plus, there you go. It's still kind of hard to read. I'll read out what we have in the administration department. Seven full-time employees, zero part-time. Finance and human resources, six full-time employees, zero part-time. In the public information and media office, two full-time, zero part-time. Uh, in the police department, we're projecting 36 full-time employees, zero part-time. In the judicial department, two full-time employees, two part-time. In the fire department, 14 full-time employees, no part-time. In the utility service department, it's nine employees, two part-time. In the solid waste department, seven employees, zero part-time. In the code enforcement, three full-time employees, zero part-time. In the recreation department, five full-time, two part-time. In the senior department, one full-time, no part-time. In the water sewer administration, which is the billing department, uh, we have three full-time and zero part-time. In the billing customer service area, we have five full-time, zero part-time. In the line maintenance, we have 11 full-time, one part-time. In the wastewater treatment plant, six full-time, two part-time. In inflow and infiltration, one full-time employee. That's a total of 118 staff members, nine part-time. One mayor, six council members. Any questions? Mayor and Council, for your consideration, the proposed millage for next year for the general fund, 178.34 mills, and for the debt, 27.46, for a total of 
Last year, the millage was 214.34. That's a reduction in the millage and the taxes of 8.54. So we will be operating next year with a reduced tax base. Any questions? Can you zoom up, blow this one up as well, Savon? All right, back, back a little bit. All right, now, this is the capital request for June, uh, July 1st, 2023 through June 30, 2024. Uh, originally, we had almost $3 million worth of request. If we cut it down to 1.373 uh, in the general fund, it's 978000 The water department, 44000 And the sewer, total of $350,000. Um, so we have 1.373 in capital request of which this would be financed with the lease purchase. Any questions? That covers the budget as a whole. Now, we also are increasing, in proposing this budget is including a utility rate increase. Savon, if you could flip to that slide, please. F5, please. There we go. Effective July 1st, 2023, we are proposing a rate increase in water, sewer, and garbage. Yep. All right, so in the garbage, oh, excuse me, in the garbage, we're going up 75 cents to $20. And in the second cart, we go up 50 cents. In the water base rate, $12.49, it was $9.99, that's a $2.50 increase. In the commercial inside, that's $15.99 from $9.99, that's a $6 increase because commercial inside, we feel should be paying more than uh, residential. Sewer base. Can you reduce that save on for some reason? It's not showing on this screen like it did the other one. There we go. Go back up. Go back up a little bit more. Sewer base. There we go. Commercial in 2710, 2459. What it was, a $2.50 increase. Go down a little bit. Save on. Residential area. All right, hold on. Where are we at? That was residential. I think it's cutting off the bottom. It is. It's, this this uh, screen is not working on it. Go previous slide, say that. Go to slide number two, say, on, and we'll just read it that way. So we have in the garbage can $20. We have a current rate of $19.25. That's a $0.75 cent increase. In the second part, we're going to $12 from $11.50. That's a $0.50 cent increase. The residence inside is from 12, is going up to 1249 from 999. It's a $2.50 increase. And the commercial inside, we're going 1599 from 999. It's a $6 increase. All right, sewer in the residential end from 2710 to 24 from the 2459, a $2.51 in $2.51 increase. Scroll down just a little bit, save on. A little bit more. I don't know why it's messing up on the screen. No. All right, keep going a little bit more. See the 251, and then the commercial end at 3099 from 2459. That's a 640 increase. Let's go down to the next slide, please, Savon. All right, this is the. Um, oh, you've gone too far. Residential outside, we're going from 20 to 423.99 from 26 to 3, a 336 increase. <coughs> Commercial outside on the water is 2399, 26, 2063, a 336 increase. On the sewer residential outside, we're going to 3899 from 3580, a $3.19 increase. 
on the commercial out $38.99 from $35.80, a $3.19 increase. Let me scroll down. Now, the, one of the main reasons we're going up on these rates are for the fact, and this is a good example, the city was awarded a grant for $8.4 million. Our match on that grant is $1.4 million. We know we don't have $1.4 million to match that, so we went to the IRA, and based on our norm for our um, salary base against our community, we're below the norm, so we were eligible for a forgivable loan of $1 million. So that means the city still has to come up with $480,000 for that match. So without doing rate increases, we would not be able to afford these types of grant opportunities. Um, so in reality, we're going to get $9 million for 480000 So one of the projects we'll be doing is the sewer rehab, which is a sewer pump station at Davis Street and Cole Road. Uh, the total cost of that is $3,045,000. The city's match is $456,000. The grant amount is $2,588,000. Next slide, please, Sam. The next item that was on this grant application of $8,400,000 was the Martha Law Estate Sewer Rehabilitation. That total project was estimated at $3,075,000. We have grants in the amount of $2,613,000. City shares is $461,000. Next slide, Savon. The other part of that grant of $8,400,000 was the wastewater treatment plant headworks. That is um, uh, bar screens, mechanical bar screens, grid removal chamber, and so forth, to keep the wastewater treatment plant operating correctly. Three million seven sixty five. The grant amount was three million two. The match was five sixty four. Next slide. So the city's total match was one million four eighty two. The grant amount was eight million four. That's a total project of $9,885,000. With the IRA forgivable loan of $1 million, that leaves the city owing $482,750 to match to be able to receive this $8 million grant. So that's my presentation for the budget, Mayor and Council. We're also giving the public time to come up and if you have any questions or concerns about what was presented here tonight on, on the City of Lake City budget. Remember, comments are limited to two minutes. Uh, um, good evening, everyone. I'm Marvin Jones. I said 713 on Lake Nicola Lake City, South Carolina. Please introduce yourself. Oh, okay. Don't be funny. But, um, what I was concerned about as we were talking about the budget and the increase in the water and the sewer, uh, when we received the, um, the postcard about the water and the sewer being increased. And the postcard was so small that you couldn't hardly see the writing for you to see something that I gave to us about these people who live on water and sewer. And then we were supposed to have a meeting about it, and everybody know what the meeting was about with you know, raising water and sewer. Because most of our people in Lake City, especially our older people, are on a fixed income. So if you're on a fixed income, you talk about increase it one year, next year you'll be this, next year you increase it within three years. That's a lot for people that are on a fixed income if you keep increasing the water in the sewer. And one thing we cannot do without is water. And y'all know that. So when you increase the water bill, people got to want to, okay, I got to pay my water bill, you got Skip getting my medicine or skip doing something to get me something to eat. You know how to pay your water and sewer. Because y'all know it's high. When you look at the average person bill, it is up there. So to increase it with no jobs in our community, no affordable houses, and you're doing that to the citizen. Y'all got to look back and see what the citizen in Lake City can really afford before we start increasing this increasing that. That's all I have to say.
Okay. Um, the speaker that just sat down uh, uh, touched on a lot of things I wanted to say, but uh, uh, one thing I, I would say, uh, I understand that um, we have to generate cash to get a lot of things repaired. But uh, like the previous speaker stated, I think what we're doing is using the water bill a little too much to generate those, those that revenue. Um, and maybe maybe there's a solution um, that we can look at. But I, I think a lot of a lot of this comes in at your third bullet on your on your uh, postcard. I hope that we're not doing this because we want to still maintain salaries of everyone that works for the city and and benefits that they're receiving. But I think that the solution may be because if we keep increasing this bill, the average cost of a water bill for the residents of Lake City is going to be from $125 to $150 a month. That's a lot. But what you can do, you can allow them more gallons before you send them once they reach their peak and you start charging them per 1,000 gallons like it should be based on usage we can give them a bigger allowance of the gallons that they're using. And that'll keep them from going over as much and getting these $100 water bill. Now, if they're uh, misusing water and, and spilling out a lot of water, yes, I understand that we got to pay for the gallons that's being used. But I, I, I do hope that you guys look at the allowances that you're given for the money that you're putting in as a fixed payment monthly and that you will allot the residents more water before they go over so they won't be penalized and get a $100 water bill consistent every month. Or else, when you finish with all your 22% your uh, raise up to uh, five years, we're going to end up at $150 a month. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is this just for concerns, or is this any, any public comment? This, this public comment is for what was just presented. Now, we're going to go into our regular city council meeting as soon as we get done with this. Okay. Okay. So this public comment period now is only for the budget. Good evening. Good evening. I, too, have to agree with Roger and Margaret is that I remember when my water bill was like $45 a month, and now I'm paying $65 a month. And now I'm hearing that we're going to go up more. And Margaret, I want to say that everybody's on a fixed income. Because <laughs> if you work a 40-hour job, you know what you're going to get every week or every two weeks. And so, and everybody in here, I think, is living on the budget. I know that I am. So when we're using this, and I'm like, Roger say, you know, it seems like we're using the the water and the sewage for everything. And so, and I agree with them. We need to take in consideration that um, we're in Lake City and maybe the, the surrounding area, maybe I need to look at the surrounding areas and see what they're paying for water bill um, with the, the um, population that we have. You know, maybe I should take, you know, look into that before, you know, I come before you guys. But I do will hope that you would take in consideration because um, as we look at the economy, it's not getting better. It's getting worse. And I know we have to pay for our utilities. I understand that. We have to pay for utilities. But if water bill go up and we pay $150 a month, there'll be a lot of people um, without water. Because they are going now for other resources. Other people, some people now are going to other resources to get the water bill paid now. And that's going to be exhausted after a while, so what are we going to do then? Good afternoon. I don't intend to beat a dead horse to death. I just want you guys to understand that I concur with the previous speakers. Do we 
have anyone else for a public comment? On the I don't have to come all the way up there. I can speak loud enough. Uh, so I, I live in the rural area. If, if you can't leave around, I'm sorry. Because we do have um, yes, one I, that's viewing Facebook. And okay. Yeah, I live in the rural area. And my bill is high enough as it is. So I would like for y'all to take that in consideration. Thank you all. I am going to But for some reason, you're not coming forward. So I guess you're here for that, and it would be too late now. But um, by your presence, it's evident that you're quite concerned about the war and sewer. We appreciate that. Thank you, Councilman, Council Member Crosby. Mm -hmm. Any other council members? Okay. I need a motion for adjournment. So move. All in favor? Thank you. We're going to take just five minutes before we go into our regular council meeting. Thank you.
at 6.15. We're going to go ahead and continue with our regular city council meeting tonight. Before we begin, I would like to ask all of the men in here tonight, if you have a hat, could you please remove your hat in the building, please? Thank you. Thank you. Once again, I am Mayor Robinson, and I am calling this meeting to order. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the public is encouraged to wear face masks, and social distancing measures have been put in place. Seating is limited. Reminder, before the meeting begins, we ask that you silence your cell phones. I pledge to build a stronger and more prosperous community by advocating the civil engagement, respecting others and their viewpoints, and finding solutions for the betterment of our city of Lake City, South Carolina. We will now have the invocation led by Councilwoman Scott and our pledge, le pledge of allegiance led by Councilmember Crosby. Now I'll stand for this. How great thou art, you made the moon, the sun to shine. We thank you because you made us. We thank you, dear God, for allowing us to be here another month to take care of the business of the city of Lake City. We thank you for all the citizens that came out this evening to share their concern and the love for Lake City. We pray to Heavenly Father as we begin this meeting that it would be productive, that would be good for all of us here in the city. Bless in your name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Councilwoman Scott. Thank you, Councilwoman Crosby. Madam Clerk, can you please poll the city council members? Mayor Angel Robinson. Present. Mayor Pro Tem Nicole Singletary. Present. Councilmember William Scott. Present. Councilmember Veronica Cooper. Present. Councilmember William Ashton. Present. Councilmember Sandra Fleming Crosby. Present. Thank you, Madam Clerk. I need a motion to adopt the agenda as printed. So moved. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions? If none, all in favor, show of hands. Okay, I need a motion to approve the minutes, approval of the April 11, 2023 mayor and council meeting. Move to approve minutes from April 11, 2023 mayor and council meeting. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions? If not, all in favor, show of hands. Next on our agenda, we have presentations, and we have one present presentations tonight, and the presentation will be by Ms. Paula Morris. Um, I think Ms. Mary Spates is not here, but she will be accompanied by Reverend Hooker. Presentation on vaping slash medical information. We have five minutes. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and City Council persons. Um, we are here today. Um, Ms. Ma Ms. Mary had a family emergency and she couldn't be here. So we are here today to talk about um, the vape bins that we have here in Lake City and truly what we want. We want them, the bins to be closed. That's, that's what we want. And the reason why we want them to be closed, because if you remember in 2021, um, I came to uh, the chief and them about the vape store behind, beside KJ's where they were selling to minors. And they still are selling to minors. Um, Miss Mary couldn't be here, but next, next month she'll be here to give evidence of her son purchasing. He's a teenager purchasing vape. And that's one of the reasons. The other reason is that when I came to the hearing for them to close down that vape business, they didn't close it down. The business was just closed. 
until somebody else transitioned in to open it back up again. And I know it got to be a family member or whatever. <laughs> and when I came then, then the detective that went in there and got um, materials out of there and everything that he said he took to the lab. And from the analogy of the lab, all of it has some content of some drug in it. But yet we still open back up. Another thing, because it's causing, causing problems in our schools, um, and briefly, because I want, I want um, Pastor Hooker to, because he's done some, done some research too, but Miss Mary, as she sent, she did email me this, that the risk of vaping is lung scarring, organ damage, asthma, and other lung complication, and it has different things that's in it, like vegetable, glycerin, which is a sweetener, a sweetener but studies have shown that it, over time it can lead to inflammation of the lung and chronic disease. But this is the main thing I want to say tonight. When she did the, re, the research on the, the one that her son had, her son had a vape and it was called Lost Mary Vapes. And this vape contained 5,000 puff, 14 puff equal to one cigarette, equals to 50 cigarettes, and then she said that when you, the number that she gave that is 50 milligrams in that one vape and, and saying that it equals to two mils. In other words, if you multiply 50 milligrams times two mils, you could get 100 milligrams. The nicotine that's in the vape that our young people are smoking, I, I'm advocating for the young people. Old people make their own decision. <laughs> it's not good for our young people. At the school, they have a problem at the school uh, retrieving vapes. You know, when the children be, should be, the teacher should be helping the children with their um, a, um, academic skills. So we're here tonight and we're gonna keep coming back. And if you notice all the people that own these vape stores, they're not American people, <coughs> and I'm not prejudiced because everybody know me, but where are their children? Are their children smoking vape? And the vape is made in China. Are their children, doing vape, where are their children? I don't see them in our schools. I don't see them in our community. But these people are selling to our young people. Even Mary even called the sheriff department on one about selling to her son. So I'm going to hush now because we're coming back next month and the next month until we get some results. Pastor Hooker. Hooker, in a minute and a half, just briefly, um, the, Af the American Baptist Coalition, General Commission of United Methodist Men, Health and Ministries, Islamic Convention, Seventh-day Adventists, the United Church of Christ, and the General Board of um, Church and Society, just to name a few, have all come out against vaping and have all come out against vaping directed towards <coughs> children and youth. I'm all for industry. I'm all for businesses in this community, but we do not need businesses that lead to a lifelong addiction to some form of nicotine, to some form of vaping activity. These industries by nature have attracted themselves to the attention of young people and young children. Their colors, their products, their marketing, all targets teen and youth. And you know, the, the saying is, oh, it's just air vapor. It's not air vapor. A lot of the vaping products include nicotine, your friend, flavored substances such as diacin, um, Vitali, which is an organic combat, cancer-causing chemicals and heavy metals since of nickel, tin, and lead are in this vape. So when you see these young people vaping all and the vape walking through it, you, they're not just making themselves sick, they're making us sick. So, um, and I, I heard it, but I'm, I'm going to just finish one more thing. Um, it's also, vaping is not just e-cigarettes, it's also heated tobacco products. How long have we fought in this community of Lake City to rid the, the cancer-causing causes of, of tobacco products. Now you're going to heat tobacco products and sell them to the children and young people to cause more cancer and cause more health concerns. So it's not so much that we're against the shop. We're against causing health concerns for our children and our community, and we ask the council, council to act. Um, sorry for my impoliteness. Good evening, Madam Mayor and Madam City Council and Mr. City Council. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that presentation. 
um, Pastor Paula Morris and Reverend Hooker. Next, we'll go to public comment period. Comments are limited to two minutes per person and no personal or verbal attacks will be entertained. The council is interested in hearing your concerns, but speakers should not expect council action or deliberation on subject matters brought up during the public comment period. Topics requiring further investigation will be referred to the city administration and may be scheduled for a future agenda. Please make sure to sign in and leave your name and address on the record with the city clerk to council. So when you come forth, you can speak your name, but don't speak your address. Just document it on the paper, please. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Wanda Anderson. And um, let me just go ahead and write. Okay. Um, I would like to, first of all, I would like to commend the city for a job well done for the... Um, the cleanup that you all did last month, the, the citywide cleanup, I would like to commend you for that, and I would especially like to commend Councilwoman uh, Cassandra Crosby. And the reason why I'm giving her this special, um, commending her especially, is because I know there was a time when in my neighborhood I've been asking for, some, um, for someone to go in my neighborhood and clean up the trash. I don't know, I don't, I would like to think it's not my own neighbors that would do it, but whoever would drive on that particular street and just throw all kinds of big bags of garbage and food and just all kinds of trash down that, uh, on Laurel Avenue, right down that stretch where the woods is at. And I've been asking for someone to go in there from, you know, the city, you know, when they have the, the cleanups, I have been asking for someone, you know, when they do the cleanups every year, that they would go down that street and clean, you know, and, and just pick up that paper. You know, since they're cleaning up the city, don't forget about the neighborhoods, you know, clean up the, na that, the neighborhoods too. And, um, and I would, you know, I would get promises that they would do it, but it wouldn't be done. So this year when I found out that y'all were having the um, cleanup, I reached out to uh, Councilwoman Crosby, and she came over there, because I told her, I said, I want you to see what I'm talking about. And she came over there, and she saw all the trash. She took her pictures of it. I don't know what she did with pictures, but <laughs> she did take her pictures of it. And, um, and uh, she said, I'll see to it that when we come down Blandon Street that Saturday, I think it was, that we would make sure we come down this street and get the trash. And I forgot about it until like a, maybe Tuesday of the next week. And then when it dawned on me and I looked and all of that trash and junk and all of that stuff was gone. You know, and I was just so proud of her because this is the type of people that we, when we elect you all, this is what we're looking for. We electing you all to not just represent the city, but the people of the city. And if I'm going to elect someone, it's going to be someone out of all of y'all. I mean, you know, I want to elect people that I know is going to represent me. That's going to work for the city and who's going to represent us. And that's all I have to say. But I, as a whole, I do commend the city for the cleanup. But I just really wanted to um, put that out there and, and, and just, just tell her and everybody else that's working to help the, the people of Lake City to keep, keep on doing what you're doing. Good job. Thank you. Well, just a quick reminder, just respectfully, just let's do it to two minutes, okay? Two thank minutes. you. I'll thank try you. to keep it under two minutes. All right. Uh, well, first of all, congratulations to all the new city council members, okay? Secondly, thank you, Ms. Michelle. At least you've started on some hour 90 days demand, and we appreciate that. And uh, we have a lot more to go. I'm not here trying to cause problem. I'm here trying to make things better for everybody. I live here. So let's work together. Make things transparent for everyone. Just don't tell, tell people one thing out of your mouth and don't have nothing to back it up.
Any more comments tonight? If not, we're going to move on to our legislative. Thank you, Mary Council, Mary Council, for your consideration. Ordinance number 20, 23.005, second and final reading. An ordinance known an ordinance known as 60 acres on West Coal Road, Lake City, South Carolina tax map number 00169-31287, currently zoned R3 and requesting to be rezoned to OIA, Office Institutional Apartments, and all matters related thereto. I need a motion to approve ordinance 2023.005 for second and final reading. Motion to approve. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions, Council? William, can you, re, uh, <coughs> for the sake of those who were not in the last council meeting, explain uh, exactly what's going to be taking place out there? I think it's supposed to be the um, music consortium. Uh, that is correct. Uh, Chief Driggers, you want to speak on that? Um, Are these people from out of state? Mm -hmm. Are the owners out from out of state? Yes, ma'am. They are. They're from out okay. Of state. I wonder. Okay, I know it's in the proposal stage of, for zoning, but um, is it for every genre of music, or because I know there's supposed to be some apartments out there? Our understanding is for all phases of music. So it would be classical to any, any type of music whatsoever that anybody's interested in. Okay, you know about how many students? Any other questions, Council? None? Okay. All in favor, show of hands. We need to read it. No, no, go ahead, do it again. Okay. okay. All, all in favor, show of hands. Any opposes? Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mayor and Council, for your consideration. Ordinance number 20, 23.006, second and final reading. The owners of Florence County tax map number 00196-31139, currently owned by Nelson Willoughby. 701 U.S. Highway 52, Lake City, is currently zoned R1, requesting to be rezoned to OIA Office, Institutional Apartments, and all matters related thereto. I need a motion to approve Ordinance 2023.006 for second and final reading. Motion to approve. Second. Been properly moved and second. Any questions, Council? If none, all in favor, show of hands. Any opposed? Okay, we're gonna do that again, please. All in favor, show of hands. Raise them up high. Any opposed? Raise them up high, thank you. Uh, Mayor and Council, for your consideration, ordinance number 2023.009, first reading. Authorizing and directing the Lake City of City of Lake City to enter into an intergovernment agreement relating to the South Carolina local revenue services to participate in one or more local revenue service programs to execute and deliver one or more participant program supplements and all matters related thereto. Need a motion to approve ordinance two zero two three point zero zero nine for first reading. Motion to approve. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions, Council? If none, all in favor, show of hands.
Mayor and Council, for your consideration, ordinance number 20, 23.010, first reading, an ordinance of the City of Lake City, South Carolina, to levy taxes and establish a municipal budget for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2023 and ending June 30th, 2024 and all matters related thereto. I need a motion to approve ordinance 2023.10 for first reading. Move to approve. Seconded. Properly moved and second. Any questions, council? If none, all in favor, show of hands. Mayor and Council, for your consideration, resolution number 20, 23.020, first reading. The City of Lake City is seeking approval to accept the resignation of Ms. Teresa Presley from the Planning Commission on all matters related thereto. Need a motion to approve resolution 2023.020, final reading. Motion to approve. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions, Council? Um. Is there a reason she resigned? She just didn't want to be on the board anymore, correct? If Was she from Lake City? Yes. Any other questions? All in favor, show of hands. Mayor and Council, for your consideration, resolution number 2023.021, first reading, final reading, uh, excuse me, 2023.021, final reading, a resolution for the city of Lake City, South Carolina, for the approval of and acceptance of $8,402,750 thousand dollars from the South Carolina Rural Infrastructure Authority SCIIP and all matters related thereto. Need a motion to approve resolution 2023.021 for final reading. Move, Move to, to approve. approve. Second. As been <laughs> properly moved and second. Any questions? If no questions, um, all in favor, show of hands. Mayor and Council, for your consideration, resolution number 2023.022, a resolution for the city of Lake City, South Carolina, seeking approval to appoint Ms. Jane Plyer, Player to the Planning Commission Board for the remaining of the term of Ms. Teresa Presley. The term will expire 2-1-2026 in all matters related thereto. Need a motion to approve resolution 2023.022. Motion to approve. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions? If none, I have all a question. Go ahead. Was she interviewed for this? Um, yeah. For this? Yes. Yeah. By who? By who? But that's when this this is where we run into um as was said at the last meeting, if council is to approve these people a vote for these people, then I think it's only fair that we get a chance to interview and meet them. So I like to see in the future when we when people are being appointed that um, council members are notified to give them the opportunity to see if they want to interview them instead of interviews. I respectfully ask that. Thank you. And I think when we, we spoke about that and mentioned that, we stated any interviews that was done prior that time, which Ms. Jane Players was during the same time as Mr. Hubert McFadden, that we would discuss a little bit more and go forth, hopefully go forth with the council members doing um, in the interviews. So we will talk about that further. Okay. Thank you. Work. See, I was not even aware that she was interviewed during that time. That's the thing. So, as I said, you know, to not reiterate what I was saying, but I think council members need to be included. Thank you. 
Any other questions or concerns, council members? Okay. All in favor, show of hands. Uh, Mayor and Council, uh, our monthly financial report, page 98 in your package. Um, the revenues for the general fund are in at 9861280 That's 109% of the budget, so we're running above the budget at this moment. Uh, the expenses for general fund are 9 million forty-one. That's 99.98% of the budget. That's a surplus of $820,000. For the water fund, we brought in 1387826 78% of the budget. We had expenditures of 1342986 75% of the budget. We have a surplus of 44840 In the sewer fund, we have a revenues of 3537 115% of the budget. And the expenses of four million four ninety four five thirty seven, one hundred forty six percent of the budget. We overspent nine fifty six seven seventy seven, and the reason why that is, we've had some highly costly repairs uh, in the sewer area, and in the stormwater, we have collected one hundred twenty eight thousand. Uh, we've spent fifty eight of that. We have seventy one thousand uh, to earmark for other projects going forward. As I will say, we have three stormwater projects that will be coming up in the very near future. Any questions on that, please? Let me ask you. Um, I, I think I've seen another new vehicle, a big black one, like the one you drive and Joe drive. Is, is there three of them now? We, 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 you'll be seeing four of them coming in. It's part of the police package. We were approved um, two years, a year, 18 months ago that they're now finally coming in. Mayor and Council, for your consideration, I, I um, present to you bills 1 through 12 for your consideration of, for payment. Need a motion to approve bills items 1 through 12. Page 99 of your package. Has been properly moved and second. Any questions? If no questions, all in favor, show of hands. All in favor. One second. One second. Okay, if no questions, all in favor, show of hands for bills, items 1 through 12. Mayor and Council, thank you for your time. That's all I have for you this evening. Okay, thank you, William, for your reports. Um, we will move along. We do not have an executive session for this evening. So next, and to uh, wrap up our meet meeting for tonight, we will go to Council Member and Mayor's reports. We will start with Askins, please. Nothing to report. Ms. Scott. Always good to see a crowd. It shows that you're interested in, in what you're doing here. Uh, a decision that being made uh, with the cleanup, uh, I did came out and help with that. But I was not aware. I was never reported about in my area about that uh, area of the cleanup. So I took the initiative myself to clean up on Beauregard Street. Uh, of course, you know, we get the number one traffic from 52 
to act line and um, it's coming on Beauregard Street. And there's a building on Beauregard Street that is very noticeable that um, do need court enforcement to, um, it's, it's several, it's two on, on, on Beauregard Street that does need um, court enforcement to put some pressure to those people and let them know that we are concerned about our community. And uh, when you come into town, you go down Beauregard, you come up Moe Street or 52, you go down Beauregard Street, and those are the houses you're going to see first. And uh, and we treat with no respect. People throw everything down and, and they don't care. And I watch it all the time. And, um, you know, if you tell me there's an area that, in my area, if I know about it, I would definitely um, try to see that get cleaned up. So thank you all for coming again. Thank you all for coming out and voicing your concerns. I hope you all went out for art fields and enjoyed all the art. Also, the food truck rodeo was this past weekend. I was not in attendance, but I did see pictures. It looked like it was a great turnout. Also, don't forget about Juneteenth events that is approaching next month. Make sure you go check out the city website page and Facebook for the lineup for that. Um, happy Mother's Day. To all the great mothers out there, especially mine, and I hope to see you guys next month. Thank you all for coming, and thank you, Ms. Anderson, for the um, recognition. And would like to concede more participation and attendance at these meetings, if at all possible. Thank you, and happy Mother's Day also. Hello, everyone. Um, thanks again for coming out and voicing your opinion on what's going on in the community. Um, your concerns are greatly appreciated. Um, please keep them coming because that's the only way that we are going to be able to serve you is to know what is actually going on and, you know, actually to give your input. Um, I hope that everyone continues to stay vigilant in the areas. Um, if you see any crime, please report it. And again, um, please just stay safe and stay vigilant and have a happy Mother's Day. <clears throat> I want to thank everyone for coming out. Um, pleasure seeing everyone. Um, like we say, when you're out in the community, stay vigilant. If anything's going on, let us know. That's what y'all elect us for. We're here to serve y'all. And let's see you next council meeting. All right. Thank you all, council members, for your reports on tonight. Thanks to all who have participated in this meeting tonight. I encourage everyone to come and to continue to share your concerns and issues. Um, encourage others to come as well. Um, thanks to all the city staff members who worked behind the scenes and in front to make sure that Art Fields was a success for 11 days last month. We had a lot of people from all across the country and outside of the country to visit and enjoy our town as well as our food truck rodeo. Thank you, this past Saturday. Um, announcements that I have on, on May 10th, tomorrow, we will be closed tomorrow. Um, and that is a state memorial day. So our offices will be closed tomorrow. Um, May 13th, we will start our um, games around the city. You will see more of that in our announcements. Um, and also May 19th, oh, please be advised, since we're closed tomorrow, please be advised of any change in our trash pickup schedule, also for Memorial Day. I know some people say they didn't know or their trash went out there, they didn't come and pick it up. I've got a lot of calls about that last couple of months, but it's because we have a revised trash pickup, and that was placed in your water bill. Uh, May 29th is Memorial Day. May 19th, we will be closing at 12 o'clock due to our Employee Appreciation Day. We must do that day. We must have that day to appreciate our employees on how much they do on a daily basis. Um, our next, my next roundtable community conversation will be June 3rd, and that will be from 1030 to 12 here in the council chamber. So please, once again, um, community, come out, share your concerns and your issues again. Talk to your local officials, your city staff, and uh, with any concerns that you may have as a citizen. Um, just want to note, since the 21st is on a Sunday this month, please note that you have until close business day on the 22nd to pay your water bill on time, since the 21st falls on a Sunday this month. Let's remember to encourage 
everyone the civility pledge as civility, respect, and solutions for a better tomorrow and future for our great city of Lake City. I thank you all for coming today uh, with, your, with the presentation about the vape. I definitely hear you. Um, I've, I've known and heard about some of the, the acts that have been taken in the schools, um, and, and hopefully we'll get some type of solution to that. And thank you again for bringing your presentation. Um, also, the words that I heard tonight, two words that I heard tonight, and they're very powerful words, and I thank you for it. And the, those two words are thank you. Ms. Anderson, you said thank you. Mr. Tim, you said thank you. And now I'm saying, and we've all said thank you. And that's what we need to do more of, thanking each other. Those are two powerful words. And we can make a, our city such a great city if we continue to thank each other for what we all do in our own lanes every day. Thank you all. I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Has been properly moved and second. Thank you.